Hello again, this is Craig Hout. Welcome back for episode four of creating an art story book from conception to its printed form and all those parts and texts and artwork in between the covers. Last episode, we dove into the front matter. Uh, we looked at the half title and title page. And for this episode, we're going to deal with the balance of the front matter, which includes the copyright, the contents, and the preface page. So let's head on over to the easel so I can show you all the information that is included in a copyright page. Okay, copyright page. Uh, this information up top here is not necessarily needed. This is just something I added on for my own purposes. Uh, normally the first line is the copyright, uh, the copyright symbol, the year, and the author's name. Uh, then there's the all rights reserved, no part of this publication may be reproduced verbiage. And then, uh, then you have this paragraph here, which is, uh, gives you the work of fiction and uh, characters, places, and things that are all uh, used fictitiously. Uh, this information down below, uh, we're going to go over as we get to the uh, layout and design portion where we're going to uh, transfer to what's going on, a uh, PDF file. Okay, that was a little unexpected, but let's go on. Okay, for a little show and tell here. Copyright page. Facing page is can be used for dedication, or if not, then this is normally blank. When you turn this page, to the right is your contents. If you just have uh, a limited amount of listings that only need one page, then the contents is to the right side. If you have enough information, enough sections and such, that it requires two pages, then it starts to the left and then ends on the right. And as you can see, uh, for this, my previous book, I had no design work on this page. But for this book, Given the design slash motif work that I was applying to all the other pages, the contents, happened to say, hey, Craig, where's mine? And I was like, well, I can't argue with that. Where is yours? So, hey, over to the easel. All right, here's my first attempt at a design for the contents page. Uh, right here you can see I've started with some pencil work following the same motif style as the other pages. I put in a little design work here. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep it or not. Okay, this is my next attempt at the design. That was hard to say. Uh, this is, I've got a little bit of ink work, couple dots in. I'm thinking of moving this up a little higher I've added this design down here, taken out that little circle design. But what's happening is, is that my design is getting too close to the bottom. So as you can see here, I'm going to start making adjustments with the text. Uh, smaller, uh, decreasing the space in between the text lines. And we'll see how this all plays out. Have what I consider my finished design. My ink work in, dots. Move the sphere up a little bit. I uh, have my colors in. I took out this third bar, and I like this design a little bit better. Uh, put in my standard, what's becoming my standard uh, rectangle box with the teal color. And I have adjusted my text to size and spacing. And with that, back to the drafting table. The first of the items listed on the contents page is the preface. And this is where you're going to describe how the, the book came about, uh, the experiences that you're going to encounter within the book, uh, the 
uh, maybe description of the artwork, uh, how it came about, uh, the type of artwork, things of that nature. And again, the preface, just like the contents in the previous book, did not have a design. So the preface said, well, contents gets one. Why not me? Well, I relent it. Contents got one. Okay, you get one. But, but, with the emphasis on the text on that page, I'm going to opt for a more simple design. He was okay. So let's over to Diesel. Okay, preface page. You can see right here, this is my first attempt. I started to use the same little sphere that I had on the contents page. Put a little box here. And then I, uh, about a week later, I came back and played with this design, switching it out for the box on this side and the little sphere on this side. This is the final design. As you can see, I kept it very simple. Uh, just a rectangle box with the teal color. I did move a design down to the bottom that represents the end of the text on the page and have that same color that I had in the circle in the contents page. And let's return to the drafting table now. For a closing segment, another image from one of the paintings in the book. For this book, 24 album covers, it centers around 24 oil paintings that I had created for an 2016 online project called 12 plus 12, 12 by 12s, which also included limited audience participation. The first 12 of the 12 plus 12 represented me. I had to comb through my sketchbooks and select 12 doodles that I would develop into 12 oil paintings. The second 12, with the plus 12, that refers to 12 individuals that I selected, again, to comb through my sketchbooks, and they would select 12 doodles that were of interest to them. And then I would take their choices, and I would, in turn, develop those into 12 oil paintings. And for this segment, this is one of the choices of one of those individuals. This doodle, the one circled in red, was chosen by a friend and fellow artist, Steve. Here's the doodle with the graph lines marked in that make it easier for me to transfer to the worksheet. You'll notice a couple other little minor markings in here that might be ideas that I can work with. I also looked over and circled these two doodles here that seem to be something that might work in the overall uh, development of the drawing. This is the worksheet. As you can see, I kept the integrity of the doodle that Steve selected. I also added those two little faces that I had circled in purple. And again, the idea of the worksheet is to do all my adding, erasing, changing everything to get it to a point where I feel that it's ready for transfer to canvas. This is the finished painting. It's titled Crosstalk. It's a 12 by 12 inches, oil on board. And like the last one, the last episode, I'm going to let you just look at it for a few seconds and I will meet you back at the drafting table. And that's it for episode four. My name's Craig Howe, creator of this wonderful art story book that hopefully when finished will find its way into your hands. I hope you continue to join me on this art book making journey by clicking on the subscribe button down below. After that, you'll see a little bell that shows up. Click on that. And then when I upload a new episode, you'll get a little reminder chime. Until next time, take care.